Welcome back. The objective of this video is to calculate present value and future value using the interest rate table at the back of the book. Um, this is an alternative method to calculating present value and future value than using the equation if you found the equation not very good to work with and some people definitely prefer this method. Um, all the table will be given in the exam so there's no need to memorize any of the numbers all you need to know is how to use the table okay so let's start with present future value so using the equation future value is the present value times 1 plus r to the t if we were to use the table we would rewrite this as <coughs> f equal p bracket f slash p comma i comma n and all it is is that this this bracket is simply replacing the 1 plus r to the t and all it says is that finding f given p given the interest rate and given the period if we know these three things we will be able to work out a factor to times our p by in order to get our future value okay similarly for present value, we write present value equal future value over 1 plus r to the t. Here, we similarly do the same thing as before, where finding p given i, f, and n. And all we do is look at our table, find the necessary value, and we can just times it by f, and we'll get our present value. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like at the back of the textbook and you can have a look in more detail in your own book because this won't be extremely clear okay so this is what the table will look like so here we have our our interest rate here we have our n and here in the first column is f slash p so this means finding f given p and on the next column is p slash f meaning finding p given f okay and all you have to do is to look at the corresponding value down here and by timesing the future value or the present value by the factors we will be able to determine the necessary thing that we're looking for okay so that might seem confusing at the moment but it's actually quite simple once I demonstrate that with an example So let's go through two examples. So the first example will be looking at finding future value. So in this example, you pay $50 now and we want to know how much is that worth in four years time. So what's the equivalent future value in four years time? Okay, so all we're doing here is instead of using the equation as shown here, we're going to do it using the table. So we're finding F given P. We know our interest rate is 12 and we know our period of time is 4. So we go to our back of the table and we find that for this, the factor is 1.5735. So we simply just go the original amount, the principal, the present value, times by 1.5735 and we get that the $50 now would be worth $78.67.5 in the future, okay? So let's go through a second example to make sure that people understand what this is. We're gonna say we want to work out the present value of this $100 that we'll be getting in four years time, okay? so. This is the um, equation if we were to use it and correspondingly this is the way we would write it in and if we want to use the interest rate table. So we go finding P given F, I and N. So here we know our F if is 100, our I is 10 and our N is 4. So we go to the back of our book, look at the table, find the relevant one 
and from there we were able to get a factor of 0 0.6830 so we time our future value $100 by this factor and we get our present value of $68.3 and this is how we use the interest rate table at the back of the book to calculate present value and future values okay there are a whole bunch of other tables which we'll be going through in the next couple of video to allow you to see you can use both the equation as well as the interest rate table to do all your calculation thank you